Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I want to show you a quick tip for dealing with debreathing stuff. Now that can be done naturally or it can be done with plugins. And there's a cool way you can do it in Studio One, although we still don't have clip gain as an automation option. Uh, we have volume automation, but we don't have clip automation. So to do this, what you need to do first is find Mix Tool, which comes with Studio One, and drag it onto the track. And there it is, Mix Tool. You need to click on the gain option pick up the hand of the gain and drag it onto the track. That means we now have gain automation onto the tracks. So that's the first way of getting clip gain on your tracks without splitting all the audio into bits, which I know some people find frustration. Then you simply have to go on the track, find where the bre breathing is. You can do this one at a time. Or if you know roughly where they all are, you can also go back through afterwards and change this. You can go through, do that, that, and mark up a few at a time. Then if you just gra grab the trimmer tool, then you can bring stuff down. So I'm not going to take it all the way to the floor because that would sound uh, unnatural. So I'm going to bring them down to there. So now when we play this, you'll see the gain here go up and down based upon the automation we've just put in. So here we go. Hi, my name's Russ Hughes, and I run what is perhaps the same kind of studio that most people run these days. I have a DAW, in fact a couple of them that I use, I use Pro Tools and I use Studio One, but I also use... Now what you can do, just as you would with clip gain in something like Pro Tools, you can then go through uh, and you could just change them a bit and give them a bit more of an envelope rather than a, a hard in and out. Uh, another cool trick is to just put one in the centre and then pull it down from the centre. That's a good trick and I do that a lot. Uh, Hi, my name's Russ Hughes and I run what is perhaps the same kind of studio that most people run these days. I have a DAW, in fact a couple of them that I use, I use Pro Tools and I only use Studio One, but I also use hardware. And then I can go through as I say, and if I want to I can just pull those down even harder like that. I've got an old D DBX Studio One, but I also use hard. And when you've got the whole track how you want it, you can hit the A key again, come out of automation, right mouse click on the audio and bounce it to a new track. And give that a second. Now you will then see on this new track, if we make it the same size, straight away, the breath's gone there, the breath's gone there, let's lose this out of the way, and the breath's gone there. So we now have the audio, the gain written to the track. Hi, my name's Russ Hughes, and I run what is perhaps the same kind of studio that most people run these days. I have a DAW, in fact a couple of them that I use, I use Pro Tools and I only use Studio One, but I also use hardware. So, and of course you can do as little or as much of that breath reduction of you as you want. So there we are. It's a very quick tip to do breath reduction in Studio One using gain automation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.